It's crazy, like, it's lucky like another world for real. Like, it's way different than Cleveland. Like, that's all. Like, it's, it's, I, like, it's not terrible, but it's terrible, but like, it's not like no difference for like killing drug dealing and stuff like that. It's all the same thing. Like he's just like different people, like different accents and stuff like that. But it's all still the same, but like different opportunities for real. Yeah. Growing up here, it's it's like a normal childhood life for real because I was a kid. But like as I was like I moved down there and came back, it was different because I was doing different things and learned different things. So I wanted to. Like be inside basically like a street life for real because like that's where the money was at mm -hmm. instead of working a nine to five because you had to wait for a check by the streets you feel me you, you get the money right then so you're like you get money faster so that's how I was, that's how I was living like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know like a big artist I'll probably say I'll probably say Young Boy because like like not not like rapping Young Boy but like a like the soul for him, boy, how he's saying and everything, because like he put himself out there, he really talking about it, like the struggle. You can actually see that he really been through it for like his own music and stuff. But like, I say people that's not on, I'll probably say like my brothers and stuff like that, because like I actually know that the stuff they talk about is facts, cause I, I've been around them my whole life. So like, yeah, I say like the people I've been around, that's like basically, basically our group for real, like my team, like Carter and all of us, like. I actually saying it like the thing that they do and thing that we do, so like it's facts. Yeah. So I gotta I gotta go with it because I believe it. Mm -hmm. But like big mainstream artists, like I listen to them, but like I really don't be like believing everything they be saying. I, I wasn't there. I don't know nothing about it. So. Right. But that's why I don't, I don't really charge people for features at all because I feel like I, I be trying to rap with bigger artists that's bigger than me, and they don't even give me a chance. I be like, bro, like I'm actually hard for real, like. It'd be like a thousand dollar features like that, like bro, like people, like people don't got it like that for real. Like sometimes you gotta just help somebody out. Sometimes yes. you feel me? Cause you never know. You you put him on, he might be bigger than you, and then put you on, and you might know that like you might not give him a chance, and then he just blow up over you. Now you wanna make a song with him? It's too late, boy. Now you still in Cleveland. Like that's why I, I help everybody out for real, cause you never know. Find the right beat, and then like. It's like whatever, like, you got to think with the beat at the same time. It's like, whatever come to mind at first. Like, sometimes I go with what the beat, like, say, like, say, the beat got, like, I type in, like, a beat, and then the beat is, like, Mind of a Menace. That's the first thing that comes to my head, like, Mind of a Menace. All right, I'm going to talk about that. Mm -hmm. But, like, that's if I'm writing. But if I'm freestyling, I just go with the beat, like, try to take over the whole beat. You can't let the beat take over you, so that's what I do. I just flow. Just keep going with it, and then if I if I sound good, I'm just keep going. If I don't like it, I still try to keep going, but then I just save it and come back to the song, and then finish it off. Like I I never just leave a song empty. I always come back to it. Or hey man, I got the second phrase, bro. Hey, hop on this, and then that's how I get it finished. Mm -hmm. If I if I don't finish, somebody else will. But I never just throw away a song. Like just wasting my time. I hate wasting time, so I never just throw nothing away. Right. Yeah. Just keep it. Yeah. Yeah. That's smart. <laughs> And like Cleveland artists, I wanna I wanna make a song with I need a song with No Love China, like if you know who that is, like he, he raw as fuck. Yeah. No love, he hard as fuck, I ain't gonna lie. For like Front Street and all them, they hard as fuck. But I ain't gonna figure out they gonna they gonna make it out out of Cleveland, like like people really don't look at no love China like like that, but he raw as fuck, like he he I ain't gonna fake he probably the best out of Cleveland, like better than everybody for real, cause like he really been been through it before, like Back and forth to jail and shit, and then get out, they can like get a big ass buzz. And most of the people was he cool with dying and shit, like, and you still gotta like go through that shit. You still living and working hard as you can, bro. Like, and you still here, and you raw as fuck, bro. Like, that's what I'm saying. People got so much talent, bro. They just don't, they don't fuck with us for real. Like, if Atlanta paying attention to Cleveland, we'll be bigger than how Atlanta is for real. Cause like we got some nice ass shit down here already. Plus, good ass artists. Like most of our artists that blew up for real, they went to Atlanta and they claim Atlanta now. Like, they be like, I'm from Atlanta, but for real, they from here. But they don't want to. I'm from Cleveland, cause Cleveland ass. Our fan base is shitty, so they don't want to use that. But like a big artist, I say like Young Boy, Lil Baby, mm -hmm. Young Thug. I look, I sign to Young Thug, cause look, Young Thug, he he lets you keep all your royalties. Like mm -hmm. he basically just he like a friend for real. Like he'll put you on. And then, all right, boom, you got you got a million dollars, all right? You don't need me no more. Get up out of here. 
And that's how you did for Gunner and everybody. Like, they put you on, you sign, all right, boom, get up out of here. You keep everything that's yours. Like, you're tough, he's tough, bro. He do that. So, I, I, the first place now, so I'm too. My plan this summer is to be in Cali, man. Like, shit, I got time. Like, I got hella time to to make it out of Cleveland for real. Like, my plan is to shoot videos, drop more music, build a big ass fan base, shows, all that. Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be big, man. I'm trying to get a body here, man. Like, I feel like I've been rapping since I was like 15. When I first started in Cleveland, that's three years already. Right now, I did create a hell of a fan base by that time. So I say, by the time I'm like, I can see it right now. Like they said, when you dream, when you dream about this shit, bro, like this really comes to reality for real. Like when you manifesting, hell yeah, like you like you see things, bro, and like you read things, and they and it's telling you that you really gonna be like that. I be getting emails and shit. People be texting me, and let me say you a beat, bro. Can you rap on my beat, bro? Like. I'd be like, hell yeah. But then they'll be like, oh, but it's a $25 fee. Like, shit, like, damn, like, how you going? You feel me? You telling me to rap on your shit, but I got to pay you. But I ain't going to fake. Like, some beats be fired, so I got to do it. Like, shit, he trying to eat, and I'm trying to eat. So I got to feed him if he, and shit like that. Because, like, you never know. He might be a big-ass producer like Zay Tolkien in there one day. So me just gave him $25 for a beat. He going to be like, I remember this one dude in that tape, bro. He bought a beat. with the first person who bought a beat from me. Believe me. I might, I might not even be on yet. Boom. Now he's my producer. Yeah. And now I'm on. Like, helping people, man. Yeah. To get you out there, yeah, I swear. Connections, absolutely. Like, that's all, that's all I need. Connections and help. Yeah. Because I, I give people, I give people more help than people help me for real. Like, mm -hmm. like no lie. Like, I give them my last to help somebody. Even if I don't got it. People just like the same way. But you can't think like that. You feel me? Because God works for real. Like, dude. The more you help, the more God gonna help you. So, so I ain't tripping. Yeah.